now recognize Ms. Lesko from Arizona for five minutes of questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, for the American people, I want to read the parts of the directive from March 25, 2020, that you, Governor Como, directed. It says, quote, no resident shall be denied readmission or admission to the nursing home solely based on a confirmed or suspected diagnosis of COVID-19. Nursing homes are prohibited from requiring a hospitalized resident who is determined medically stable to be tested for COVID-19 prior to admission or readmission. Today, uh, Governor Como, you claimed that the, your nursing home directive was just following federal guidance. I, I find that hard to believe, sir, and let me tell you why. On, there was, on October 13, 2021, Dr. Deborah Burks, in a trans transcribed interview, uh, was asked this question. On the bottom of page four of the CMS guidance, it gives guidance on how to return a resident diagnosed with COVID-19 back to their nursing home. And it says it should be done if a facility can follow CDC guidance for transmission-based precautions. First, what would those transmission-based precautions have been? Her answer. So that would require isolation and gowning, masking, and ensuring no contact with other residents. Then the question was, Administrator Verma, the CMS Administrator Verma said, under no circumstances should a hospital discharge a patient to a nursing home that is not prepared to take care of those patients' needs. Is that correct? Her answer, correct. Question, if we turn now to the New York guidance, meaning your directive, does that have the same qualifier of able to take CDC precautions as the CMS guidance required? Her answer, no. Question, so would the March 25th directive have violated CMS guidance? Her answer, yes. Then, do you think, at question, do you think admitting potentially positive COVID-19 nursing home residents back into the nursing home without the ability to quarantine or isolate them is dangerous and could lead to unnecessary deaths? Her answer, yeah. I think that's why the CDC guidance was very clear about precautions needed to protect them. And I think that's why CMS Administrator C Seema Verma was proactively working on this infectious control guidance. Well, today, you also said it was up to the discretion of the nursing homes if they admitted COVID-sick patients. You said today that the patients weren't infectious. So my question to you, sir, how would the nursing homes know if the patient was infectious or have COVID-19, if your directive explicitly, let me quote, nursing homes are prohibited from requiring a hospitalized resident who is determined medically stable to be tested for COVID-19 prior to admission. Congressman, I understand the question. Here's the basic disconnect. This was an advisory the Department of Health did 10, 12, 15 advisories a day, 400 in a couple of weeks. They did not substitute for the existing state law. And the state law remains in place. And the state law says on a nursing home, 41526, you cannot accept a person who you can't care for. 41519 says you must have an infection control plan in place. If the person has to be quarantined, contact let me Let me interrupt because I have 44 seconds left. Sir, how could your directive even then follow the New York state law if it prohibits, prohibits, it says nursing homes are prohibited from testing for COVID. Yes. How could you even follow your own state law, CMS guidance, CDC guidance, if your own directive yes. prohibits the testing? Yes. Uh, the directive says they have to talk to the doctor. The person no. has to be medically no. stable. No, the directive does not say that. 
This is exactly what the directive says. Nursing homes are prohibited from requiring a hospitalized resident who is determined medically stable to be tested for COVID-19 prior to admission or readmission. Hosp- Sir, I'm, I'm sorry, but I find your it testimony says, very, very hard if to I believe. Agree, it says yeah, hospital ladies, I'm this, over time ladies, and I yield back. Ladies, time has expired. Now recognize Dr. Joyce from Pennsylvania.